I want to send a new year greeting to all of you out there in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This year, 2022, is soon over, and I'm sending this New Year greeting to all of you here from Baker County Detention Center, where I've now been locked up for six months. Yes, a half year. I could not imagine something like that was possible. But that really shows that we are living in times that is changing and that we are in a spiritual war. Our enemy is busy spreading lies and doing everything he can to stop the gospel to go forth. But he will not succeed. God has the last word and everything is in his hand and this will end up having the opposite effect. I truly believe that we are standing in front of a breakthrough like we have never seen before. These last six months have truly changed my life. This is really the best Bible school one can join. It is also the hardest Bible school. But God has done so much in my life the last six months, and I'm truly thankful for it. And I'm actually thankful I was not out three months ago because I was not ready there. There were still many things I needed to learn. So even I look forward to come out now, I am thankful for what God has done. And it's, 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 it's hard. It's, it's not only being locked up in a small cell away from everything out there, you know, and the freedom we often take for granted. But it's everything that follow people don't understand. Like being a place and not knowing when you will come out. And it's to see your family suffer and not be able to help them, be able to be there for them. That had been very stressful. Like, uh, we uh, could not rent our house any longer, so Lene, alone without me, needed to find another home for us as a family. She needed to rent it, organize the moving, and everything that followed. And even we have amazing friends who was there to help. It was, it, it was very stressful at the same time. And now I'm living in a home I have not been in. So um, th there's so many things, and, and then all the lies there is floating out there and then see that there is people who have been busy planning all of this. That people can be so evil and spend so much time and so much money to try to destroy what we are doing is is it has been difficult to understand. And then we have the whole legal system that is very new for us and and the money we have needed to do what needs to be do uh, be done. This has really stressed us a lot. And we have needed so many miracles just to be able to pay the bills and keep fighting. And there have been times here we just, to be honest, wanted to give up. But we have also seen many miracles and God has been faithful to it all. And we have been able until now to pay the bills and continue fighting. So uh, this has been challenging so many levels people don't understand. But as I said, we have seen again and again God come through and give us strength to keep fighting. Also because we know that we are fighting for more than just ourselves. We are fighting for all of us and we are fighting for the kingdom of God. And, and I know that can sound a little too much for some that we are fighting for all of us and we are fighting for the kingdom. But I want to guarantee you that one day when you see the whole picture, you will see that this is so much bigger than just us. Yes, this is truly so much bigger than it looked to be in the surface. This is like being in a movie. A movie with organized groups, lies, crimes, and other things. Just to uh, stop us and what God is going to do in America around the world. Just one example how crazy this is. And how this is so much bigger than what it looked like. And it's, it's not just a normal case of somebody seeking asylum in the United States. My court hearing the other day was hacked. It was hacked and recorded illegal and then shared all over YouTube and at, in newspapers in Denmark. Something like that had never happened before. <laughs> that a small court hearing like that is being hacked and used in this way. My lawyer, she had been a lawyer for 25 years and she had never heard about anything like this before. So it is truly like being in a movie. But now the truth about what is really going on is starting to come out. We have on friendsoftalk.com and on our YouTube channel just published another update where we give so much more information about all of this. And as I said, it is really like being in a movie. 
and uh, maybe you will see this in a movie one day or at least read about it in a book because this is so much more crazy than anything you can imagine. Like I've experienced many crazy things in my life, but I've never seen anything like this before. But hallelujah, guys, we serve a great God and he will let the truth come out and everything will end up good. They, they've also now been giving out two mini documentaries, which I really strongly encourage you to see and to share. You find them on a uh, link in the text uh, together with this video, or, and they're they are very powerful. You also find them on our YouTube channel. In the last of the mini documentaries, we sh show some clips from our undercover journalist who came from Danish TV2, a Danish own TV station. And it's clips that have never been shown before. And, and it shows how they have no respect for our faith. And it shows how they came with a very, very strong agenda to destroy me and our ministry. But they really mock all of us by what they're doing. They are being baptized. They are confessing Jesus as their Lord and Savior. But it's all fake. And you'll be shocked when, when you see it and see the lack of respect people have for our faith and the lack of fear of God that they have. How can anyone do anything like this? I, I truly don't understand it. And that experience with them, it really hurt me and many of us. Some of those people who was involved with it, when they heard that they were undercover journalists and they were lying and faking the confessing Jesus and the Baptist and they were crying and they were hurt long time after. At first, I've never seen the clips since. Even I had them on my telephone for a long time because it just hurt me to think of, how can people do anything like this? But now it's time to get the story out to all of you out there. And over the next episode, many new things are going to be revealed that's going to shock everyone. It's going to be revealed what was really going on in Denmark and why I needed to leave Denmark and why an innocent man can be locked up for six months without have, have done any crimes. And yes, I did also not overstay my visa as people are going around saying. But you will find more information in the documentaries and uh, on friendsoftom.com. And I'm just praying that the truth may come out and that I soon will be released and be with my family again uh, while we are fighting our asylum case. But I want to, I want all of you out there to be encouraged because God, he is faithful. And even this has been some of the hardest things we have ever experienced. I'm truthful, truly thankful to God for it. I've learned so much. And I know that we have an amazing future in front of us. It is time to get the gospel out and to see a reformation of the church. The Bible is not only to be read but it's to be lived out. I want to now be in honor here to baptize five people, seeing many more experience healing and deliverance. I started three Bible studies. I started a Bible school. Uh, and at one time, I was actually doing teaching three times per day. But it became a little too much, so now I only do teaching one time per day, while one of my strongest disciples are doing the Bible studies in Spanish. It's really beautiful what we have seen and how people have grown so much the last month after they said yes to Jesus and got baptized and set free. And God has done so much in my life person. And yes, there's so many things I look forward to share with all of you when I finally come out. And God is truly faithful. And we need to learn to embrace suffering, knowing that this is purifying our faith and making us more like Christ. So I really want to encourage all of you out there I want to say to you, don't be afraid. Don't fear man, but fear God and serve Jesus with everything that is in you. Do not only read the Bible, but live it out. Take some new steps of faith here in the new year 2023. Decide that your life should look more like Christ. More like Paul and those people in the Bible who was following Jesus. Pray and fast and study how the early church was following Jesus. How they're going around and preaching the gospel, healing the sick, making disciples. Read it and then take some steps in faith like you have never done before and then start to live it out. Because this is a life for all of us. And God has so much more for us. And 
I have experienced that the last six months in here. Have you not seen our free movies? I strongly encourage you to see them on tilahamovie.com. There is three of them. Because this is a good place to start when it comes to how you can live the life Christ has for you. The life he has for all of us. So thank you all for your love. Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you all for your support to me and my family. We truly love it. We truly love you for it. And, and, and pray for the church. Pray that we all may become doers of the word and not only hears. That we will live it out and not only read about it or dream about it or talk about it, but we will live the life Christ has for all of us, including suffering. So pray for us also that God, he will open the right door for the gospel and that I will come out soon and uh, there we will have time to uh, prepare our asylum case and get our papers. And then pray for our enemies. Pray that they will meet God. Pray that those lies out there will be revealed and God, he will use this for his kingdom. And that many lives will be changed because of this. This is truly my, my wish. It's truly my desire and my heart that God, he will use this to advance his kingdom here on earth. So stay strong, all of you. Serve our Lord Jesus Christ with everything in you. Be bold like never before because God is faithful and he will never forsake us and never leave us no matter what happens. You have nothing to fear. So God bless you all and happy new year to all of you and love from here in the name of Jesus Christ. I miss you all and I miss being out and seeing you face to face. But a big blessing from here uh, to all of you from Baker County Detention Center. Bye-bye.